what is up y'all y'all know what to do hit that thumbs up button it helps out the channel um mm, jonathan anthony excuse me john anthony he has a video titled xxx tentacion versus drake and what happened i seen a short earlier where um drake had a song and he was talking about take a five add a five you got 10, five times 10 times. Basically, he put 10, 10, 10. And that was um, the day that it happened to the other rapper. We're about to watch a video, y'all, for the first time together. And we're going to see where it started. We're going to see how much of a swagger jacker this dude is. And how he latches on to people's sound. I don't know if he thought maybe nobody would notice or maybe he thought the little dude would not make it far. So, I mean, maybe he thought dude was just going to be like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, Drake. No. He called dude out. He taunted the hell out of Drake. Anyway, let's get to it. Keeping a blood roll. I, I still think Drake is like, I think he, he's a, he's not a man. I think he's a, a bitch. You, That's a bitch move. I can't respect him that I got plastic. Bro, Drake look like he got <laughs> Drake when I got plastic surgery, bitch. If I was outside of jail, and took my shit and previewed my shit in Amsterdam like he did, I would have, bro. Hey, if I, bro, we probably actually, I probably actually would have found a way to find, bro. Mm. You know I need that screenshot. If you didn't know, Drake and X had a heated beef before X's passing. Today, we look into just what happened and break down this beef. So let's get into it. The year is 2015 and Drake is on top of the world as the hottest rapper at the time. During this, an underground rapper by the name of XXXTentacion was posting his songs on a platform called SoundCloud. In December of 2015, X released a track called Look At Me. After this, he started picture. gaining a small following. Fast forward to 2017, Look At Me would be Begin gaining major traction and even reached the Billboard Hot 100 just over two years after its release. As mm. X's song Look At Me was blowing up on March 18th, 2017, Drake dropped the track called KMT. And on this track, Drake blatantly steals X's flow that he used on Look At Me. Yeah. He said, Damon just got out the can. I get my boy in advance. Was he talking about Baca? Not nice. Damon just got out the can. I get my boy in advance. We all know Hotline Bling was a bite of Cha Cha. I'm not the first. Maybe. In that song that I was explaining to y'all, maybe Drizzy was just breaking down the math. He really paid 50 instead of 15, but the breakdown only broke them dudes off 15. Yeah, they got paid some cheap shit allegedly. This N-word he bit, nor will I be the last. Drake up the N-word, money don't buy you respect. He <clears throat> then continued saying, Drake's career is almost over. He better start investing his money into real estate. Because once it's all over, he really gonna see the fake love. What's happening now, y'all? People are coming out with how they really felt about dude. Just a couple weeks later, in early March, X would call up DJ Academics while behind bars to call out Drake once again, saying that he's a culture vulture and that most of Drake's material has been copied off of somebody else. Now, what I really wanted to speak on uh, in this call is the, is the entire Drake situation give it a, a, a little more publicity because I, in all honesty this guy is going to keep running off and, and doing this shit and nobody's going to stop him if I don't you know what I'm saying if I don't he was going to keep running off and doing this shit <clears throat> bring it to the light and make somebody and, and, and form some, some sort of uh, some sort of opposition or or, or, or defense towards that you know what I'm saying and I, I really want to call this situation out I'm going to end this he 
said he stole the cha 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 or the cha cha cha. I love you. Bobby. The cha cha slide. Shout out the drama anyway. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Over the course of his jail tenure, that same day he was released from prison, X did an interview with 1035 The Beat, where he would call out Drake, saying that he's a bitch and a culture vulture for stealing his flow. He would also expose when his manager said that Drake was aware of X before jacking his flow. What's the situation between you and Drake? Do you guys have beef? Are you guys cool? Like, what, what's the situation? <laughs> What's, what's oh, going on? Alright, I'm gonna give it a you know, Talk to me. I was waiting for you, I didn't know. Yes. <laughs> oh, me right. too. Alright, so look. Um, the nigga hit up. I'm gonna, I'm like, I ain't even on that snitch or that shit. Keep a plug raw. Keep a plug raw. I, I got to, cause, like, I don't want nobody coming at me crazy. You feel me? Like, like, like I saw it, bro. You feel me? Like, I wasn't, like, I was in the wrong. Bro, I hit up a DJ that I fuck with. Who I did? Drake. Okay. Drake hit up a DJ that I fuck with. You feel me? And, and bro told me, um, he was like, yo, the nigga Drake, watch your interview. He said he put you and he put your part of the ski mask. He's like, yo, he said he go call your manager within the next few days. Okay. So I'm, I'm, bro, I'm amped up. Nigga, I fuck with Drake. Yeah. You feel me? Drake a genius. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, despite, despite me disrespecting him as a man, because I can't respect him as a man, respect that nigga's career. That's yeah. a goat. Okay. That's a goat. So you know how to differentiate the two? I know. I, corporately, that nigga is the goat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Corporately. And I knew what I was doing when I said what I said and I knew how to approach him. Because I know where he can't beat me at. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So initially, he was supposed to contact one of my managers. So, what happened? He, he, I mean, he dropped a fucking video, a preview of that shit in Amsterdam with some, with some, with some nigga from from the UK. You know what I'm saying? He dropped it. He dropped the video. I was talking to um Drake, probably like, oh yeah, it ain't reached Amsterdam yet. It ain't reached the UK. I'm gonna break it over here and make it seem like he might have bit my style. Mm. I was talking to my girl at the time. Even with that Migos thing, y'all, that I was telling y'all about, the flow was hot. Drake just wanted a reason to bite the flow and run with it. And he did, as a lot of rappers did. Mm. RIP takeoff. Time, not, not the same bitch that got me arrested, different girl. Okay. I was talking to her at the time, and she's like, yo, listen to, no, actually, it was my dog, Chris. I was on the phone with my dog, Chris. He was like, yo, you gotta listen to this, this nigga Drake, nigga. That's what, exactly what he said. Like, this nigga Drake, nigga, you gotta listen to this. So he plays this, I hear, da 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 my dad. I'm like, what the fuck? As soon as it started, like, I knew, I knew he was getting that. And the funny thing is, we didn't discover it. The fan, like you said, the fans, because the, they're, mm. they're so cold, like, it's like, I got a piece of the internet, you feel me? So they were saying that Drake was biting your style. <sighs> That's, That's what the fans were saying. Yeah. Uh, flow, hell yeah, bro. You could you could take his verse. Like, they done mash up. They put his verse on my song, and they, the cadence is literally Dead on. at the same tempo. You, it, it's not off beat at all. And you can, if you listen to my song, and you listen to the bro's song, like, you, it's, uh, we, we all Let's not see. Yeah, go. It's no mashup on your beautiful person, and that he's really in this for the culture. Rather than being a f nigga taking my sh running off with it and then putting it on his album, I'm gonna make the world hate me. I'm gonna be like, I'm, I'm gonna be a super villain. I'm, I'm gonna make this whole thing come. X would follow up with the tweet on that day saying, Drake mom kinda cute, she could get it. So it was clear from this point forward, X was gonna target Drake. So that's exactly what X did from this point forward. The next day, X changed his profile picture on Twitter to a picture of Drake as a child with his face cropped on Drake's stepdad. He then took to Instagram Live, continuing to call out Drake, saying that he wants to smash his mom and that he'll continue to like harass him. Like Dude, just drop a diss on Drake and end his career. Nah, I'm not finna shoot the gun. If he, if he not, he'll diss me. Plastic, bro. He should put the gun in his mouth and. My homie, Dude, can I? And save that shit for the hoes. Everything you can. Good things I do, and um. Not and challenge. All right, this next segment, y'all. This was one of the saddest feelings I had watching this dude. I talk to y'all a lot about right and wrongs and when you lived a certain way, you feel like it's only certain ways you can put back positive energy into the universe. This was that. I feel like he knew because of what he did that his days were numbered. I really do. Check this. Check it out. Check it out. 
where he would help out those in need. There's a bunch of PS4s, like shoes, uh, just different things to the kids. I'm gonna donate like a bunch of stuff to them. So uh, I was just gonna record it because I never really record any of the good things I do. And um, not only that, I really wanted to not only record it just to set some sort of positive energy in the air, but also to kind of influence other people to do it as well. I was actually gonna start a movement called The Helping Hand, uh, where you guys like record um, you doing good things for people and kind of spread that. Joy and please tag me in it somehow so I can see all the love being spread. Drake stole this, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. He really stole this from this little dude. It made a video out of it. God's hands. God's plan, whatever that. Yeah. You don't have to play the song in the background or have some hashtag. This isn't about streams and all the other tactics being used. Just go be kind in any way you can. And let's all watch the world to be nice to each other. This ain't what the industry want. He marked himself with Drake and the industry. The energy this dude was receiving and putting out was, like he said, cult-like following. And he knew where he could beat Drake at. They didn't want this, y'all. Not at all. Even if it's for 24 hours, thank you. Now this sounded very similar to what X just posted to YouTube with the helping hand challenge. X saw oh, that's this what as Drake taking shots at him. X would then Damn. screenshot the story and post it on Instagram with the caption, at Champagne Poppy. Hey, I want to say thank you for participating in my challenge and for doing that for the city. I'm really glad you did. But I do want to say I'm very disappointed about the fact that you pretty much dissed my challenge. I'm doing my best in doing something positive for the city and the kids. I think it's really immature that you pretty much try to sneak diss me in the tactic or hashtag remark. We're grown. How many people really call Drake out, y'all? Nobody, because they're so dependent on that stimulus packet or even a mere thought of getting the stimulus packet. So they just stay in their place like a good little boy. Men, if the moves I make inspire or intimidate you, I'm glad. <clears throat> I won't diss you for that. So this is a thank you. But again, respectfully, please stop copying me. Have a good night. P.S. If we could do something together for the families that went through the tragic shooting down the street from me, that would be great. I think they really need us right now. Have a good one. Drake would go on to deny that this post was a shot at X and he denied copying him as well. X would take to Instagram to post a video saying that he was not dissing Drake on his post. Hey, I don't want anybody to take my remarks uh, to Drake as a diss in any shape or form because I am actually really happy. I don't, I'm not gonna argue. It is, it's a couple days in jail. It's on my mind. So it made me, I'm gonna make sure I drop the fucking. A lot of rappers can't see. Cool, no. But I, if, if, nobody can't see. Then I would've shut up. Where he allegedly disses X and even a cryptic message saying, if any. 2018 Drake dropped the God Plan out, music video. Throughout the video, he was giving things away to people, similar to what X did on his Helping Hand challenge. So X took to Instagram that day and wrote a cryptic message saying, if anyone tries to kill me, it was Champagne Poppy. I'm snitching right now. A week mm. later, X would post a picture of a Drake lookalike on Twitter doing certain things that I cannot talk about in this video with the caption, yo bro, at Drake. So... Never mind. A couple months later, on May 26, 2018, uh. Drake dropped the track called I'm Upset, where he allegedly disses X and even talks about killing him. On this track, Drake says SMS Triple X, which apparently stands for Send My Shooters. SMS Triple X. That's the only time I ever shoot below the neck. On June 18, 2018, XXXTentacion was slain during an armed robbery gone wrong. Just a week after X's passing, Drake dropped a track called The Mob Ties, where he once again allegedly took shots at X. This time, it was speculated that he referenced his death. A couple months. I wanna, um. Yeah, I gotta find that short. Later, one of the members from X's group, Members Only, took to Instagram to say, I ain't saying nothing that's gonna get me in trouble, but I know what you did, Aubrey. Makes sense why you watching mine and MO Instagram stories after Ja died at mm. Champagne Poppy. The internet started coming up with this conspiracy theory that Drake put a hit for XXX Tentacion to be murdered on June 18th. Later that year in October. June. 
18. Was that that boy sacrifice? October of 2018, the music video for Drake and Travis Scott's song Sycamo dropped. And in the video, an XXX Tentacion lookalike can be seen. getting killed in the video on november 4 2022 drake and 21 savage dropped the track called on bs and fans once again claim that drake allegedly dissed x saying that if he held his tongue on that live he'd be alive maybe i should do a 20 maybe i should break it this is what i'm talking about 20 do a 10 maybe i should break a 10 do a 5 then if it gets loud do a 5 again uh, bro i'm 19 years old that what what is he like 60 like 65 or isn't he didn't he get like surgery on, on his arms or some shit didn't he get like plastic surgery then you go see like dr 300 like three times <laughs> if he had his tongue on that lobby be alive again yo somebody gonna shoot me <laughs> Listen, Co coincidence and all, y'all. Real talk, do y'all think that's a coincidence that all this is right here in our face? Let me know your thoughts. I'm out. Peace.